week two underway, so mm -hmm. how are we feeling? Like, we're roughly a week in, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I, now that we have pads on, it's a little different, but uh, I think the guys are doing a really good job. The coach is doing a great job coaching them up. Um, it's a really good film. I, I would have to say we probably have way more in, in, in terms of install with our offense and defense than we've had in years past. And, and uh, it, it's, it's hurting some of the young guys that haven't been around, but, but uh, it's just kind of we just have to have to do it that way to get the team ready. So um, if there's mistakes, it's mostly the young guys. And we had some administrative mistakes today, um, a bobbled snap, uh, offsides, false starts, stuff like that. So we'll clean that up, but that's, that's part of it. We just got, it's got to be a lot better in terms of execution and not not making those type of mistakes. We talked to Aaron on Friday. He said he was just, he was really focused on installing quickly, but then repping things over and over again. Is that a philosophy yeah. team wide? Yeah, and I, th I think the uh, I mean the mistakes are fixable in terms of just focus. The the other mistakes that are happening is just is the, getting getting the guys the opportunity to make plays. And so um, I know there's a lot going in there, and then benefits the guys that have been around longer and uh, been used to this offense and defense. And so uh, the young guys, it's it's, it's one of those things where the classroom has to move as fast as the as, as what we need to get done, rather than um, and and a lot of those guys just have to drink from a fire hose right now. Just get used to it, and and uh, I, I think they'll get the, the more they study, the more they spend time on it. I think the easier it'll be, and they're getting reps, and we'll just have to keep working with it. But um, it's 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 good film for us to work on, and, and I know the eventually the younger guys will, will benefit from it. In your eyes, have any of the quarterbacks separated themselves in the quarterback battle? In some ways, it seems like they they they, they kind of go back and forth, and so I I don't know if it's enough yet to, to separate them. But um, it's also difficult when you're working with the one O line compared to working with the twos, and so um, we're, we're taking that into account. Also with the receivers and the, and the DBs, so that that are going against them. So it, when we factor it all all in, it's just it's more who can get the team to execute the best and and uh, make sure that we're not making mistakes. But a lot of that is not. The quarterback. I think the quarterback's doing a great job, and, and I would say all four of them. We made some mistakes today, threw some picks, but uh, it's okay. I think that's more defense making plays than anything else. But uh, I'm really pleased with the way the progress. Uh, I've seen the progress of the uh, quarterback position with all those guys. And I, I talked about the four quarterbacks, but it's also with 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 Cole, Hagan. So all the guys are getting better, and I think the quarterback position is is improving quite a bit every day. Do you want to see a scrimmage? Yeah, we'll have live work, and then, I mean, it'll, it'll be, they'll have, the, each quarterback will have time with the, with the one, one O-line, the one, one receiver, so that, I think that will be, when we see real football and see tackling, I mean, the quarterbacks won't be live, especially those two, but um, I think we can kind of gauge from when the, when the team is going first, second, third down. Right now, it's all situational. Uh, once we get to, to running drives and sustaining drives and getting points on in a scrimmage type of situation, it'll be better for us to kind of focus on that and, and maybe look at the competition when we get to that point. Kwame, you bring in transfers <coughs> hoping, you know, looking for them to contribute, but what difference does it have when you bring a transfer in and then they get a year in the system, the Keelans, the Dariuses? Mm -hmm. How big of a jump do you see from those guys, even though they're veterans when they first arrived? It makes a big difference, and you can see it in, in, in the guys and how comfortable they are. I think a guy like Wade and Lapuaho, you can see it even in spring ball and even throughout the season once they get more comfortable to the offense. Uh, Jake's the same way, Jake Retzloff. And so, uh, you know, that's uh, the, the natural process is that they're going to be more comfortable with the playbook and, and feel more comfortable with uh, their role. And so... Um, some some of the guys they don't have the comfort, but I think if you're uh, a defensive player that played at Weaver State, like Eddie Hecker did for us last year, and Cam, then a guy like um, like Jack's gonna gonna be able to function at a high level right away. So, uh, but with the offensive defense, I think the key is getting finding a role for them and allowing them to compete, but finding a role that they can actually help our team get get gain some victories. Any other questions? Good. All right, we're good, Brett. Got them all.